Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send photos in messages on your iPhone. So let's get started. First thing is, you want to make sure you're using iMessage for your phone. That way, the photo sends fast and the easiest way. So in your settings, you're going to scroll down to apps and then look for the messages section. So we're going to go to messages, right? And then we're going to ensure that iMessage is turned on iMessage makes it easier when you're messaging especially other iOS users. Now with that on, in order to send a message, you can photo in a message, you're going to open it up and then tap on that message. And the right here, the option you want to click is that plus icon that you're going to see on the right or the left side here. And then you're going to click on photos. That'll open up your photos album and then you can see which one you can you like to send. So if you'd like to send something from here, right, you can go ahead and pick something like this and then when you're ready you can select one or multiple you can just keep on selecting and click on done it'll show you what's being sent and then you can click on sending it now another way to send it is if you have a lot of photos to send instead of sending it like this which can take uh, sometime long time sometimes you might not send all of them is creating a iCloud link so in your photos here you're gonna go to select and select the photos like this now once you select the photos here, right, you're going to click on that share icon and go ahead and what's known as create copy iCloud link. So you're going to create copy iCloud link. It's going to make a link basically that you can send. So we copied that and then you're going to open your messages, right? This time we're going to long press and hold, paste, and then we're going to share basically a link to them. So with the shared link, they're able to access it, but they're able to see a lot more photos in one message instead of selecting each one individually. So that's going to be another way to do it. I hope this video is helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. See you guys next time.